In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop the U-Trips offense in Madden 23. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the video here, and we're going to be talking today about a decent little coverage defense that I like to use for the U-Trips offense. This comes out of my nickel over defensive ebook. If you guys want to get the entire defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for the Patreon page, and it will get you access to... Um, literally all of the ebooks that we have over there we have nine offensive and defensive ebooks as of today and we plan to release more as well in the coming weeks and you also get all the updates which we're working on a ton of updates right now for you guys uh in the patreon as well so i think it's a great deal 10 bucks to get you access to everything if you want to get access to it make sure you join uh at the link that i put down in the description and i want to talk a little bit about u trips u trips is growing in popularity we release an ebook on that as well if you want to get that again in the patreon on um but u trips is growing in popularity so i wanted to kind of put out a video explaining just kind of a, a basic defense that i like to use against it what we want to do against u trips we'll make sure we have our match coverage set to on and then from there you can kind of tailor your adjustments to however you want to play uh, but we're going to start in cover four quarters and the reason we're going to start in cover four quarters is because of the way the formation works um, is basically this so it's really built around motion so i just want to show you something so you'll see here if i motion this guy i want to, I want you to see what happens you're going to notice that my linebacker now gets out of the out of play like he's not in a good place he's not in a good spot okay now let me show you something else so let's say that we base a line to try to solve that problem maybe do something like this and then you're going to see here now look he does not move but the only problem is my corner doesn't move, so if I throw a streak out here, you know, I'm going to have at least a leverage advantage. It might not be wide open, but, you know, I'm going to have at least a leverage, a basic a baseline of a leverage advantage. So here's a little trick that you can do uh, against U-Trips. So we're going to base align, we're going to show blitz, and then if they motion, let's say they motion um, Scotty Miller, we're just going to base align twice and then show blitz. So what you'll see is it resets your base align to align more properly to the formation that you're facing. And that's honestly about as simple as it can get. And I think that this is a super, super simple, but at the same time, really effective defense, which we're about to show you some kind of key adjustments to make this even better. Uh, but U-Trips, honestly, um, the one thing, the one criticism that I have of U-Trips to great offense, but it, a lot of people that run it, um, they don't necessarily, in my opinion, attack the whole field with this offense. They kind of attack the same basic areas of the field, uh, and that's where I think the weakness lies in this. Okay, so um, so anyways, uh, here we go. So this is the basic concept. Now again, if I'm in show blitz, let me show you one last time. If I'm not base aligned, watch what happens. You see he goes. So I could just do that. Like, I could just wait to base align until they motion. And I could also do something like that if we wanted to, okay? But I really like the show blitz look that Nickel Normal provides uh, for us. And so that's kind of the foundation piece that I wanted to get at. Now, the most important player in U-Trips, who is it? Great question. I believe it's the tight end. I think the tight end is the most important player in this formation. He's also the player that can honestly cause the most problems. So what I like to do is kind of take my user and I kind of key in on the, on the tight end. So we're just going to shade... Um, our match coverage underneath just like this uh, you don't have to do that if you want to leave the match zones be my guest uh, but I just find that the hard flats really help um, out of this and then from there we have a lot of freedom with this backside safety until they motion so if they're in this alignment here I like to take that backside safety and I'm gonna put him in cross man um, and which you have to do before you show blitz so uh, I'm going to put him in cross man if he'll let me here. I don't know why he's not letting me. Oh, I think it's because I already showed blitz. But basically, I'm going to put him in cross man, which I'll show you real quick. I'm going to cross man him on the tight end to start the basic adjustment. So I'm going to come out. I'm going to cross man him on the tight end. And then from there, I can, you know, show blitz and do whatever, right? So we get him cross man on the tight end. The only reason we want to do this or the primary reason we want to do this is just because it's going to help him if the tight end does go vertical. You don't have to. Um, let me show you something real quick. So most of the routes in this formation, they're not going to put the tight end on a vertical route. And if they do, it's going to be like from Pat slot out. 
So you'll see here that this quarter zone will do a really good job of taking that away. You see he's right in the area to play that. Um, so you can be okay if you don't adjust this that much. Um, I'm just kind of giving you some of my stuff that I like to do. Uh, but I will say, like, honestly, you can just sit in this. Like, just sit and cover four quarters. You're going to use her that tight end uh, whip route. And honestly, like, they're going to struggle. Like, if they motion here, which I'll show you. Let's say we do something like this play. Uh, which is pretty good. Let me see if I can set up I'm trying to think of my adjustments here So we'll do something like this and then this is just a basic flood to the left side So they're gonna motion immediately you baseline show blitz immediately you baseline show blitz Now you see you're properly aligned and now you're just lurking in the middle of the field You're just looking for that right there and you see how the match coverage kind of handles a lot of the things that uh, that a U-Trips player would want to do uh, in it. So again, if you just come out, pinch your defense, you can show blitz here as a base setup. And then from there, what you can do is, let's say that they motion, um, you know, again, let's say they motion, this time they're going to motion the outside receiver. It doesn't really matter who they motion, to be honest. As soon as they motion, baseline show blitz. Now your linebacker stays where he's supposed to be, and your corners actually realign based off of formation strength, and the match coverage does a great job at driving on routes like corner routes. So the reason I personally prefer the hard flats in this defense, I personally just think that the hard flats make it a little simpler for what's going to be left open. Obviously, the like the tight end whip to me is one of the most like difficult things, ironically, to stop. Um, now, you would, in my opinion, want to back off that outside quarter on the right side. Um, I just think it helps significantly uh, with the different routes they're going to come at you with. But you're going to use her this whip. You're going to be kind of hanging out in here. Notice the post is completely bagged by the quarter zones. Okay, make sure your match coverage is on, but this is a really simple defense that I really like uh, for defending you trips. Just simply show blitz, shade your coverage down, and then if they motion, let's say they, if they motion anybody over here, okay, let's say that, let me give you another play that they might run something like, like this is a popular setup. So they motion, all right, we're going to baseline show blitz, boom. And we're done. And you see from here, we now have a lot of freedom with how we could blitz players, how we could change things up. And you see how good um, how good this defense really does against this. So it's a really simple solution. Um, you know, and I honestly think it's one of the more effective ones that you're going to see. Again, I really like to back my guys off um, because I just think it helps a lot with them driving on certain routes. They're going to drive better on routes. Sometimes out of nickel normal, you see we get incredible uh, disengages and sheds and the logic is just not the best. Uh, but I think this is the easiest way to adjust. So like, let's say that I have this guy, let's say that I want to set up a pressure, um, you know, maybe do something like this. This is a great blitz out of quarters and they motion. Um, so they motion, just base align, show blitz, don't panic. But you do notice that that guy goes crazy, okay? So that's that's just something you got to think about and kind of master with this. Is once you this is where U trips can kind of kill you is when they start going with these motions and they just basically mess up your alignment. That's one of the best features of the formation. So if I want to set up a blitz, maybe I need to base align ahead of time, and then I'll show you this here. When they go, I'm going to unbase line and then show blitz again. And now you see we're properly aligned. My linebacker still did a wonky thing, but the blitz still comes in. Okay, so that's how you can kind of tailor things to the formation a little bit. And I think that's really important uh, out of any defense to be able to do this is when they start to when they start to mess you up with different motions. Um, you know, being able to adjust. But as you can see here. My linebacker's in the spot that he's supposed to be in. Our blitz doesn't come in because I did a terrible job usering. But you see the idea. So that's how I would defend U trips. And again, I know that I'm kind of trying to be as simple as possible. Literally, just come out, pinch your defense, show blitz. If you want to cross me in the tight end, you're welcome to. I find, unless they're running the tight end on a lot of deep routes, it's actually best just to have it like this. And then you want to blitz your user, it helps with the run game. And, you know, let's say they run a flood to the right side now. So we're going to run a right side flood concept. Your job is to tie it in. So I'm coming out here, getting out here quick. 
and you see the match coverage is able to kind of mold to the route combo. It's why match is so good. It's why we wrote an entire defensive ebook on match coverage. If you want to get that, that is also in our Patreon page. Thanks for watching the video. Again, if you want any of the ebooks, we got nine offensive and defensive ebooks, including nickel over, as well as a, a complete ebook devoted to match defense. If you want to get access to that stuff, the link is down in the description. It's only ten dollars to sign up for the Patreon. So I'd really encourage you to take advantage of that. And hopefully we'll see you guys over there. Thanks for watching the video.